Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video we hop inside game with one of my favorite aftermarket parts to throw on an SMG that just makes it super super OP. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy the video. Alright, welcome everybody back. So today we're going to be using the Lockman Shroud. Now I love this with its aftermarket part. It is actually so good. And the only reason I don't say it's like one of the best SMGs or the best SMG is just because of the ammo. And I know a lot of you guys don't like guns with small amount of ammo. But to me, it's really not a big deal. Like you have 100 in the mag and then 300. So a lot of people are going to be like, ah, you kind of run out of ammo too quick. But one thing about this gun is it destroys anything it hits it's actually kind of crazy so today we're going to head to the tier 3 zone hopefully we can do some contracts it has definitely been pretty challenging lately to do anything in the game whether it's contracts or you're trying to kill the storm caller like it has almost been impossible to hop in game and complete something that has not already been done <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is challenging. I don't know what else we're going to do. We did bring in an Elder Sigil, so we could hit up the Elder. I also will have the build I'm using in this video at the end as well. For all of you guys who do want to use my exact build. But uh, we should be good. We can hit this tear right here. Why not? Bada bing, bada boom. And then we can go all the way over here. Okay, so yeah, we have a bounty contract here and then we have one here. I might just go for this one for safekeeping. Maybe. We will see. I'm not exactly sure if we'll be able to get to it. I mean, I think we will. But sometimes uh, the game has other plans, right? So 250 meters away, which is not far whatsoever. We should be good. 100%. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much that. Oh, zombie. <laughs> Alright, what is it going to be? Uh, okay, a mangler. This will be pretty easy. I would say he is to my left, all the way over here, 100 meters away, actually pretty dang close. Surprisingly, there's not that many people here right now, which is definitely a good thing, although we did kind of get here relatively quickly, which is good because we definitely needed to, considering how bad my games have been recently. It has not been uh, a joke, <laughs> that is for sure. What's up, Mr. Mangler? Shred him. Shred. Whoa. Ether blade. Try and take some of these zombies down with the ether blade. Shred the mangler. There we go. Nice. Okay. Those ether blade. What's in here? Self revive. We'll take that. Uh, I definitely need some more perks while we are doing this. So let's see what we can grab. Uh, we need stamina up, and then we can actually buy PhD. So give me this. Uh, you know, let's just get death perception. Sometimes it does help. Sometimes it does come in clutch, considering I don't know what we're doing this game <laughs> at all. Like, yeah, so a lot of people don't really like this weapon because of the ammo. Which, I kind of don't mind how much ammo a gun has, because it's super easy to find some in-game. Like, it's really not much of a hassle to run around and, say, kill a zombie and then find ammo. It really isn't too bad. Okay, we have a Mimic all the way to my left, 200 meters away, which is not far. It's relatively close, if you ask me. Should be able to get to it all the way over here. Uh, so far this game's looking pretty good. We didn't do any triangles because we kind of didn't go for them. But contract-wise, we have already are on our second bounty, which is nice. That's like, to me, man, that's like game completed. <laughs> that is just for an explanation of how bad it has been recently. When it comes to getting contracts, at least ones you want, right? Like, yeah, it's pretty easy to grab an escort, but not many people can do an escort. Unless you have the right stuff, especially solo. Shred him. Ooh. Okay, let's throw that. Let me throw on a plate real quick and then we can finish him off. There we go. What is in here? Another self revive. We'll take that. Okay. We can kind of head over here somewhere. Which shouldn't be too bad. Maybe we can pick up another contract. 
What we can do though is we can grab this escort real quick and just cancel it. And maybe get something else to spawn in. Uh, we will see. So Black Ops 6 comes out Thursday at midnight, which is kind of cool. Now also it comes out on New Zealand servers, I think at 4 a.m. or something like that. So I don't know if you guys can do the trick to play early. I'm going to actually try and do it. <laughs> it never really works for me, but I'm going to see if I can do it so I can play early. So yeah, maybe there'll be some early Black Ops 6 videos out on the channel before the main ga or for the game's release for everybody. We'll see. I'm not too sure if you can do it on Steam. But we will see. So all the way over here, 10 meters away, we can go ahead and break that. Okay. Thank you. All right, what's in this? Nothing. Kind of check out some of these crates around here, see if we can come across anything good. Don't need anything from there as well. Kind of just throw that ether blade. Is that a mimic? He's brain rot. What's in here? Nothing. That was probably one of the worst crates I've opened up <laughs> in a long time. A literally a blue P890 and a Molotov. That was that's what was in that crate. It was kind of crazy. A lot of times they have a lot more gear than that. Don't need any of that. Okay. It's definitely nice having death perception. Seeing all the crates through the walls and stuff, it definitely helps a ton. No matter what you're doing. We're halfway done with this now. Nothing in there. Throw that. Uh, okay, we should be able to complete this with ease. Haven't really had many zombies push us so far. Which is definitely nice. Maybe after this as well we can get another bounty. That would be pretty sweet. Let's reload real quick. Any ammo? Let me reload real quick. Okay, we are done with the contract. Nice. Okay, the contract's supposed to kill a majority of zombies. And it almost didn't there. <laughs> they definitely would have downed us. Mm, we don't need any of that. Okay. Uh, we do have a Casimir already. Here's a bounty. Be super cool if we could actually pick this up. I would not be complaining if we can, right? We have had a great game so far. In terms of contracts. Okay, thank you. Alright. We should be good. Disciple. All the way back here. 240 meters away. Uh, but we should be able to uh, do this with ease, I would say. Definitely pretty easy. We have yet to get a Mega Bomb. But yeah, I mean, this really is the Lockman Shroud with the aftermarket part is one of my favorite SMGs as well. Just because of how much the damage is on this thing. It is actually crazy. And it's not really that the damage is high. It's just the fire rate is so quick that the damage pretty much is high. Because you have so many bullets firing. Okay, we can throw that right there. This ether blade comes in clutch. Obviously, we could gun down these zombies, but I really like to just throw my ether blade. Stack up them ether blade kills, right? It's the best way to do it. Okay, uh, this is a disciple sum here somewhere. Uh, he's not up there. Where is he? Hello. Kind of came out of nowhere, Mr. Disciple. That wasn't too cool of you, my friend. Shoot the hand there. Ether blade. Shred him. some ammo why does he always run that's the one thing that always is annoying about a disciple is how they just run away uh, we don't need any of that okay what else is on the tack map nothing close by 
There's an Outlast way over there, but those guys are 100% picking it up. Uh, not exactly sure. Throw that. That did not reach. <laughs> the range on that was very slow. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and hop on New Zealand servers, man, because I just want to play. <laughs> like, it's not like that MWZ is bad or trash. It's just I have played it so much that I'm ready for the new game. That I am very, very ready to get off of MWZ and start playing Black Ops. I'm going to see if I can uh, get the New Zealand servers to work. Maybe we'll have some early content. Maybe not, though. Don't take my word on it because it could not work. But we will see, right? Also, ooh, one trick. Don't forget to go follow us on Twitch. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Which, we're going to be streaming all of our Black Ops 6 content over there as well. Twitch is going to be the first to see a lot of stuff before it hits YouTube. Ooh, zombies, leave me alone. I just want to fight this mega bomb. That is it. Uh-oh. Pick up this ammo. Shred him. There's a second eye. Give me this third eye, baby. Yeah, you just do so much damage, dude. It's insane. There we go. All right. Uh, grab some of that. Dead or PhD. We don't need that. Three plate jug. We also don't need that as well. I think we can go to the dark ether. I think we're ready. Uh, we have decoys. We have a casmir, which I want to equip one of these. So we can get an extra one when we spawn in. What Dark Aether do we want to go to? We can go to this one. I've been liking going to the first one. My favorite one is the newer one because it's just best for loot. But to be honest, I have done it so many times that like I am getting super bored of it. Like seriously. <laughs> it has definitely been uh, rough to say the least. But uh, okay, we can go spawn in here. Yes, we have an Elder Sigil so we can throw that in. Let's do that, and then we can stow that, and then I will see you guys whenever we get into the Dark Aether. Let's do this. We just now spawned in. This should be pretty easy. We just gotta go over and grab the actual extractor contract, which shouldn't be too bad. That's one of the easier contracts inside of the Dark Aether, especially whenever you have Casimirs or decoys, your Aether Shroud. It definitely is not too much of a challenge to complete it. It can be fairly simple, although sometimes it can be pretty stressful. We'll say, sometimes it's crazier than others. 100%. All the way in here. Hop up here. And give me this. Okay. Go this way. Alright, we can head up top. You know what? I'm actually going to throw a decoy for this first one. It's definitely going to be the smartest way to do this first one. So let's throw that. And then let's just hop right here. Come on, there we go. Whoa, zombies, leave me alone. Alright, now let's equip these. We can head over here. Throw on a plate. We can just throw on two real quick. This is definitely an ultimate fail. That brain rotted zombie actually could have got me killed there. This isn't there a Casimir in here? Thought I seen one. Okay, it don't matter. We don't need it. It's not something that is super needed here. Okay, we can go over here. Pop up this way. Drop down. That was a terrible, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible way to land, dude. That was so bad. But it's okay. We have a ton of self revives. It's kind of why we bring them in for stupid stuff like that that we accidentally make a mistake on or etc. Dog bone, elder sigil, self revive. Okay. We're good there. Now we gotta go to the bus, which is all the way down here. Mr. Peaks. 
Alright, time to do the Outlast contract. Uh, so, I don't know if we're going to do the locked rooms. Now, hear me out when I say this. I have way too many items, and I have way too many legendary items. Like, it's actually crazy. <laughs> I don't need them whatsoever. I mean, we can open up this one or whatever, because we're already here, but, like, going out of the way and going to look for them, we don't really need to do that this game. Truth be told... There's been a few points in MWZ where I've been like, alright, I really don't need anything. Like, I am pretty much good if I wanted to play ten more games. Which I'm not, right? But I am, I'm chilling. I do not need any more loot. So, I, uh, don't really need to do all that. But we will open that one just to see what it is. Because the key, that key spawns literally right under the well <laughs> in the back of this area. So why not? Bob and weave. Okay, we can hop up here. Throw on a plate. Get some of these zombies. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, yeah, that was unexpected. Let's hurry up and self-revive so we don't lose too much percentage. Throw on some plates. We'll go ahead and triple plate up. Something I never have done in my existence of MW3. Okay, we're at 85%. We have three self revives still. Kind of go over here, 95. Holy moly, that mangler threw me across the room. All right, let's open this rift. Dog bone, another elder sigil. Okay, we can hop down here. Grab that. Hit this, I have died so much hitting this. That is like one of the biggest things I've died to in this game. Was hitting that specific zip line. Uh, Wonder Woth. Yeah, we definitely do not need that. So we can just go ahead and drop the Wonder Woth. But uh, okay, we're going to make our way up to this exfil up here. Watch out! Mimic! Holy moly. Okay, I will throw the build up on screen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.